bony-jawed needlefish is also tough to hook. Oh, yes, it is, it is, it is, it's a fish. Here we go. Ah. Ah! That's off. I think, in a way, I might have been lucky just to keep it on that long. The trouble is, they got very bony jaws. That didn't stay on. With fishing time running out, I decide to switch things up. I change boats, getting myself lower to the water. And employ a little island ingenuity. What the locals do for this fish is they use this. It's just a piece of uh, rope that's been unpicked. Something like a needlefish, lots of small teeth, comes along, chomps onto that, and those teeth just get tangled up in all those strands. Eventually, something strikes. OK, stop, 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 stop. There's one on here, there's one on here. I'm taking it very, very gently. It's secured only by a tangle of fibres, so bringing this fish in is a delicate operation. I'm relying purely on tangle, not on hook hold. This is a completely different way of playing a fish. Just keeping enough tension. That's a needlefish. I can finally take a good look at this fish's lethal business end. Well, I've seen these in the water, but to see this um, close up is really something very different. Holding this needlefish with its large, light-sensitive eyes, it's easy to imagine how it could have been drawn to Lena's jewellery and startled by the Sampella fisherman's lanterns. But I can't take my eyes off that long, sharp jaw. If you're a small fish, then the, the weapons you have to worry about are, the, are those needle-sharp teeth. But if you're a person, uh, like the snorkeler, uh, in the water, then it's not so much those teeth it's the whole snout that becomes the weapon. And you just have a very, very small point on the end. And even something that size moving at speed through the water, that, that is almost like a dagger. And there are numerous places in the body where if, if that went in just a couple of inches, that could be fatal. For me, this case is finally closed the end of one of my most unusual investigations. Normally, when I'm looking for a fish that can kill a person, I'm looking for something big. But not always. Sometimes small is deadly. And the needlefish is a perfect example of this. As always, this was a case of somebody being in the wrong place at the wrong time and being almost unimaginably unlucky. The chances of the same thing happening to you or me are almost non-existent. So no need to keep away from the beach. But knowing what I know now, if I ever see shoals of small bait fish thronging the shallows, perhaps occasionally scattering or jumping out of the water in response to some unseen threat, perhaps that's one time not to get in the water.